Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 22, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and uh, courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, on Friday, we did the rally up towards uh, 1.4 and then gave most of those gains back. We're still at 1.4, so that is still holding. So the previous highs here are still holding. However, we are getting very, very overstretched in this market and a pullback towards the 20 exponential or roughly uh, around this area should be um, should be expected at this point. So a fall of roughly 1.27% is down towards the 20 exponential and that's where you will most likely see buyers come back in. That's how this has been behaving for the last a few months and and um, yes the 20 the blue line the white line the 40 and uh and the 50 moving average have acted as major support in the past so pullbacks towards the moving averages are expected to um, have a lot of support so technically technical indicators are very bullish still we are significantly overbought rsi is at 77 we're way outside of the bullish band so if you see them, uh, the, uh, the stochastic turnaround here, then it's a very clear sign that we are going to go lower. But pullbacks are buying opportunities as we are in an uptrend at this point. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. And as you can see, we ran into major resistance here at the 300 moving average. We did break the 300 moving average, but then we fell um, to much lower levels. Question is whether or not we are going to break uh, the 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band and head towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band. That's not how this has been behaving the last few weeks. We actually have been bouncing off the 20 moving average here in the Bollinger Band and it looks like we are actually changing direction direction here. So we were in a in a in a downward channel for months and months uh, all the way back to March last year and it looks like we have we are creating lower highs at this point so here here and here and if we bounce from this area here then we'll create even um, another lower high and that means that we are most likely going to break through the 300 moving average and going to trend to the upside if you look at the technical indicators they are fairly bullish at this point the bearish at this point they are turning around stochastic is turning around the macd is turning around and so is the rsi and the cci so yes it all depends on whether or not we basically uh, rally from here if we do then we may go past the 300 moving average so let's look at euro us dollar um, we found support down here at 1203 we rallied up towards the, uh, the 50 moving average and then found uh, well found resistant at the 50 moving average 50 moving average has been a problem for this currency pair for for several weeks now so we tested it here we tested it here and now we test are testing it again and we have not managed to break through or start trading above the 50 moving average as long as that is this that is the case we are just going to see a continuation of the, what we're seeing we have been seeing the last few weeks and that is basically rally up to the 50 go back towards the 100 or the 150 and then rally back to the 50. so at this point you just have to wait. If we rally above the 50 moving average and start trending above that, then we may go and test these previous highs here. Otherwise, I'm just going to stay far away from this currency pair. So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. As you can see, we had a massive rally on Friday. We are up at 0 0.78 at this current stage, but we are ex extremely overstretched at this point. Just look at the, uh, no, the Bollinger Band here. We are way outside. The, the RSI is at 79, but other technical indicators are still very bullish. Long-term target high uh, here is uh, 0 0.8. So pullbacks towards the 20 moving average or 20 exponential moving average down here at 0 0.77. Uh, that is fairly likely that it's at this point. So it may fall back and then continue rallying to the upside. But this will most likely be a grind up towards the 0 0.8. We're not going to see many of these uh, massive moves to the upside, but but on Friday, it was a massive move to the upside. 
So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We fell significantly on Friday. So we ran into resistance here, which is the which is kind of an area we where we have found support. Uh, sorry, support, support in the past. So we tested it here, also here and here. And if we manage to break this support line, then we are going to go much lower. We are very overstretched to the downside. We're actually at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. We are also um, at 31 in the RSI. So we're on the, on the edge of being oversold. And technical indicators otherwise are turning around. So we may go through this previous support line, have head a little bit lower, and then rally and head it lower. We are in a downtrend and basically every rally at this point up towards the 20, 50, and 40, that is uh, going to be uh, going to see a lot of resistance in that area. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our cha channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.